welcome to today's episode of Red Palm Cooking. Today we are going to be making fresh pumpkin pie using our red palm oil in our crust and fresh pumpkin. So get ready for some awesome pumpkin pie. First we need to preheat our oven to 325. You want to choose a small pie pumpkin which can be found in your local grocery store during the fall. Next, you wanna take a sharp knife and carefully cut your pumpkin in half. Once you've cut through most of it, take your hands and break it apart. Scoop out the seeds from each pumpkin half. You can either save them to toast for a later snack or discard them in the trash. Place each pumpkin half face down on a greased baking sheet. We're going to place our pumpkin in the oven for approximately 30 to 40 minutes at 325 degrees. We start making our pie crust by first adding one cup of flour to a large mixing bowl. To that we add one third cup of our red palm oil. and half a teaspoon of salt. We start mixing it either using a pastry blender or just two knives together to form small chunks kind of pea size. Then we add two tablespoons of water and mix more with our knives and then with our hands. Remember that red palm oil has that orange coloring so it can dye your hands or other things orange. So you want to make sure if you handle it to wash your hands after you're done. Next, chill the dough in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. Once it's cool, take it out and place it on a floured pastry mat. The pastry mat is nice because it has the markings of the different sizes of pie tins on it. So that way you know how much to roll out your crust. Once you're done rolling it out, fold it in half You can add a little flour to prevent it from sticking to it itself. Then fold it in half again and you're ready to transfer it to the tin. Don't worry if your crust isn't perfect. If there's any holes, just use your fingers and pinch together the crust to fill in the gaps. Then what we're going to do is take a knife and trim off the excess crust that's hanging over the edge. You can actually use that excess crust to fill in any large gaps if you need to. You don't have to, but if you'd like to make more of a decorative pattern, use your fingers to pinch the crust around the edge to give it a kind of a neat look and set aside. Our pumpkin is now done and baked, so what we're going to do is use a spoon and scrape it out of the pumpkin and into a large bowl. You can either use the spoon to hand mash your pumpkin if you want it more lumpy, or you can use a hand mixer to make more of a puree. Next, preheat your oven to 450 degrees. For our pumpkin pie filling, we'll need two eggs, one cup of light brown sugar, two and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one tablespoon of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. First, blend the eggs using an electric mixer. Add our one cup of brown sugar and blend well. Then we add the rest of our dry ingredients and blend that as well. We take two cups of pumpkin puree, and our one can of evaporated milk, and we blend that well. Once mixed well, pour into our unbaked red palm oil pie crust. Either use a pie crust shield or make your own of aluminum foil to protect the crust from burning during the first stage of baking. 
Place your pie into the preheated oven at 450 degrees. Set your timer for 10 minutes. At the end of 10 minutes, turn your temperature down to 350 degrees. And bake your pie for an additional 40 minutes. When the timer goes off, remove your pie crust shield. Bake for an additional 10 minutes. Your pie is done once a toothpick comes up cleanly. Thank you for watching today's episode of Red Palm Cooking, where we made healthy pumpkin pie with the red palm oil crust. If there are any other recipes you'd like to see me make using the red palm oil, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Today we are going to be making fresh pumpkin pie using our red palm oil in the in the 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 the